Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today is kind of a video where I'm going to do a protection on the Model Y. This is my 2024 Model Model Y long range. I've only had this a couple months, but it only has 270 miles on it, so really low miles. Really haven't driven a whole lot. I had to get the PPF done, which I just got done, and so stay tuned for that video. But in this video, what I want to do is uh, we've partnered with a company called Teslac. They've got a website that offers premium Tesla accessories, a lot of great stuff for the Model Y, 3, SX, all of the Teslas. So they've got some great interior protection pieces. And we've partnered with this video to show you how to protect the interior. Now, kind of the basic level of protection is getting floor mats. This isn't about floor mats and cargo mats. This is kind of a step beyond that. So I want to go through and show you all of the protection pieces for the interior that we're going to install on the car. And we're going to get them installed and show you exactly how they're going to work. Here's the, all the pieces for this uh, protection kit. Now, these are going to go around the different trim areas around the edges of the carpet to really help give some extra protection. This is eight different kits from Teslic.com. So I want to show you kind of what we have here. We have like a rear trunk seal. We've got, these are the sides of the trunk. This is for the rear seat, the back of the rear seat where the feet go. Protection around the seat risers. Protection like where you go into the second row there. Uh, and then up here in the front, these are next to the center console. These are where the foot rests are. And then we have these uh, kind of extra door trim seal pieces area. So these are all going to go in the car. I want to show you exactly how they work and where they're going to go and how easy it is to install them. For starters, we're going to start from the back of the car, work our way forward. This is a kit. This is for the rear trunk seal here. It's going to protect this plastic piece. I mean, I only this is a brand new car and I already have a couple scratches on here. So a lot of these pieces in the Tesla Model Y and even the 3 are kind of uh, fragile when it comes to durability wise. So this actually has some red 3M tape on the back. So we're just going to peel that back. All right, I got all the adhesive protective stripping off the, all of the adhesive. So now I'm just going to line this up with the, the latch here. You can line it up before you put press it down. So you just want to get it in position here. It lines up perfectly with this plastic piece. And now I'm just going to press that down. It looks like you can take this weather stripping here and then just lift it over this lip so that way it this is not going to flip up. All right, now that's down. We've got the weather stripping over the lip there. Now there's two pieces that go on the side here that help protect this carpeted area. Let's get those installed. So these pieces just have a Velcro. This carpet is really adhesive to, to a Velcro, so this is just going to Velcro right on there. This is the same thing. This, this, lip, this lip right here goes right behind the weather stripping, just like that. Press it down really good. So those are our those are our trunk seal pieces. The next piece we're going to do inside the trunk here is going to be there's a piece that go that kind of wraps around here and then just really protects this like wheel well area where when you're throwing stuff into the trunk you're going to get that all. This is going to get kind of all marked up. It's going to wear down and it's not going to be easily replaceable. So this this panel these panels here are going to be nice to protect that area. We can tell how these go because there's a notch here for this and there's a notch for this area here. So we're just going to line that up. Now this Velcro is super adhesive. So as soon as it touches, kind of flatten it out. It protects right up all the way to the front there. And then it's going to wrap around all the way into this compartment in the back. So that goes on really easy. Once you press down, and that's nice and secure down there. That, that looks really good, and it fits good. Our second row, we've got pieces that are going to go right here. This area gets a lot of wear right here. And then we also have a piece that's going to go right here down against the back where someone's feet are going to go against. That's going to be nice and protected. And then it's even going to protect right through here. And then these seat risers are going to be protected. So let's get all those pieces installed. This is one piece, this is one I'm, I'm probably most excited about. This area right here gets so beat up. People coming in and out of that area just scuff their feet right here. So what these do, they have just the Velcro on the back. This is just going to clip on right here. All right, that gasket's right on top of there. That's nice and protected. So we'll do the other side and then we'll do these, we'll do this back piece right here and the pieces that go forward. All right, the driver's side is now snapped in. It's just Velcroed down. Fits really good. 
Okay, this rear piece here is just gonna fold up against the, the base of the seats here, and it's got nice Velcro. All right, now these pieces, now this fits here, these side pieces, I'm just gonna tuck in, it's gonna tuck in right under there. So there's our interior piece here on the side, and we do the other side. All right, wrapping these pieces around these seat pillars here. You wanna make sure, if you get the wrong one on this side, it'll be too short. So the correct one, they Velcro into the middle like this, and then the longer part is in the back, this is the shorter part in the front. So it helps to move the seat all the way forward to get this part here. This is, so just get the Velcro pressed down. All right, then you just take the front here, wrap it around, and then it just Velcros right under here, down in the middle. And here's the driver's side, locked in there. I did have to raise the seat up and I'll just get the front and then I'll, the, the middle piece kind of wraps around here, here, and here. The nice thing with this middle one here, it goes all the way to the front, so it protects the front part of the seat riser as well, all the way in the front there. This is in the front driver area. You can see this part wraps around this piece and it also wraps around this piece as well, so you have protection all around these on the front seat. All right, I did find if it is easier to put this kick panel in here before you put in the door seal area, so it does slip in a lot easier. I just use a little tool to just slip it right under the plastic part right here. All right, so this is all installed. I wanted to just give you a quick overview of uh, everything we installed here. So we have this back piece here, these side pieces, the side pieces here in the trunk. This probably took me 20, 25 minutes, uh, and that was with recording everything, so really not that hard to install. We've got this, piece here we've got piece there this kind of kick piece back here and then we have this this was a separate piece that full center piece was a full piece and then we have that piece on that side and then here in the front there's three pieces in the front here there's this uh, door sill piece this is going to give some nice protection as well as i like this this kick piece up here and then we have our side panel. And then once I put my floor liner and my mat back in, this thing will be completely covered. So there's going to be full protection here, not only in the front, but also the rear seats as well. And just a quick shot of what we did in the driver's area. So I like this little tray here because stuff just falls down here. And when it falls, you don't want it rolling to the back. And so I like that there's that catch tray. And we've got our kick panel there, this panel here. So this is an impressive kit. It fit really well, easy to install. Didn't have to take anything really apart, so it fit really well. This is an impressive kit from Tesla. Guys, see the links down below? Again, this is like eight different kits kind of I, installing all at one time. So you don't have to get every piece. Maybe you just get one, one piece at a time and kind of piece it all together. But eight different kits. I mean, that's kind of the full interior protection. And of course, you're gonna have like your, your all-weather floor mats that are gonna go over top of that to kind of give you the, the, the added protection. But I was impressed with the build quality, the fit and finish, how easily it went together, how strong that Velcro was. I mean, it stuck to it really tightly. I don't, I don't see those things ever coming off. But I can take them off. If one, if a piece gets like really like scuffed up, I can replace it. So it's gonna help save the carpet and the trim pieces in the car. So this is an impressive kit. Guys, a big shout out to Teslac for, for sponsoring and uh, sending these items for us to try out on the car. See their links down below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.